tourism, getting people to spend their time and money here. After climbing the economic ladder at the turn of the 20th century, we find tourism the number one industry in Santa Cruz County in the 21st century. In terms of consumer spending, it's the largest industry and you can really think of it as an export industry, right? Because it's new money coming into the community that we wouldn't otherwise see. Despite its enormous economic benefits, tourism means tourists, crowds, traffic, all making for an uneasy relationship between an undeniably attractive host and its out-of-town suitors. If you just arrived or have lived here, say, 30 years or so, you might think it's always been this way. It hasn't. Tourism sort of backed into the major economic driver that it is today. But historically, um, by virtue of this piece of water that's running immediately behind me, um, this was a mill town. San Lorenzo River and the other coastal streams provided the water power that drove mills. This was the second most important manufacturing county in the state in 1880. Only San Francisco had more production going on. And this was tanneries, um, lumber mills, um, all, ki all kinds of operations. The rail helped ship stuff out, but it also began to bring people in. After the railroad penetrated the mountains to transport logs, fish, and produce, it didn't take long for word to travel of a place of beautiful woods and beaches with a Mediterranean climate. As the Bay Area began to expand, people began to talk about getting away. They come over for weekends, and they're working stiffs. I mean, this is a, this is a um, working class tourist destination. The beach that we're standing on was, became the focus after about 1904, 1905, when they built the first uh, casino. Santa Cruz has had to be a powerful draw. Just look at these early films of driving Highway 17. The harrowing, winding road over the hill remains at least a psychological barrier for many to this day. Still, they come. 700 million in spending, about 12 million in the hotel tax, about another five to six million in other related taxes. So, if you're at the beach and um, somebody's kid next to you is, is screaming in excitement a little bit too loud when they jump in the water, you might just think, 250 bucks. That's what that is right there. Santa Cruz Conference and Visitor CEO Maggie Ivey officially leads the effort to brand and market this diverse county. The question is not if we're going to have tourism, we do have it. How do we manage it? How do we cohabitate? And how do we make it work for the community? Because in some ways we're stewards of these assets, correct? You know, and I think Santa Cruz generally does a good job of being a steward, but part of that is being able to share it. We'll always be a, a tourism destination. If you look at surveys of where people want to travel, number one, water much of the time is involved. We have 29 miles of coastline. So we are a tourist destination and tourism was here long before most of us and it's going to be here for, for a long time to come.